Hello everyone, in this week's After Effects scripting quick tip tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to load an image layer from your After Effects composition into a script. Now this idea was submitted by someone on our Discord who is wondering, is it possible to link files from your After Effects project to the UI itself, which is actually quite simple as you can see by the approximately 10 lines of code it takes to write this. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel, and down in the description you can check out the code for this in the github link make sure you follow us there as well for updates on code which come out way before the videos also you can follow us in the description on instagram to get other live updates if you're not a member of our discord server come and join and get help with scripting extensions plugins expressions and much more where tutorial ideas like this can also be submitted or discussed and later get created as they are today and if you want to help support the channel financially and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Get cool perks like badges, uh, live streams, which help educate you. You can ask questions and hang out, or even get shout outs and videos and Discord member status. So the way this script works is quite simple. We're going to load in an image layer from any of our composition. In this case, I have a nice doge loaf. And we're simply going to navigate up the structure to get the file source for whatever this layer is, and then use that to add that file uh, to our UI that we're going to create. So to start, we're going to create a variable called comp, which is going to be our app.project.activeItem. And this is going to be assuming we have a composition open inside of After Effects here. And now we're going to also assume we have an image layer and we're going to now grab that. So I'll say var image layer is equal to our composition and the layer index is layer one. If you had a different layer, you could do that. Or if you wanna go the extra mile, you could load in all the image layers, have a drop down selection and have it change the image if you wanted. Now, in order to get the image file that essentially is sourced on my computer somewhere to this doge loaf, we need to go up to the project items section and then get the file from that. So I'm going to create a variable called image item, which is equal to our image layer dot source. This is going to take our image layer and look which one of these items in the project panel is the source for that. In this case, it's this guy here. And what that means, and you can actually only get a source of something if it exists here in the project panel. If you say, for example, have a camera, that's not going to have a source because it's only specific to a composition. It's nowhere to be seen in the project items. So just to make sure we're getting an actual proper item, we're gonna grab our image item and alert the name. Then I'll link this to After Effects. And in this case, we don't have a composition selected. So I need to make sure I select my composition and then run it. And as you can see, we're getting dogeloaf.jpg, which is the name of our image source, which is perfect. Now to get the image file, we're going to say var image file is equal to our image item dot file. This is the easiest way to reference whatever the source of the file is. If I selected this uh, item here and wanted the source of that, I could simply grab dot file and it's going to provide me with a file object, which is exactly what we need for our user interface to add an image. So let's create our UI now. We can just say window is equal to a new window of type palette. We'll call this image loader and the size will be undefined. Then I'm simply going to create an image variable to store our image itself. We're gonna add this to the window and we're adding an image undefined size, which if you have a huge image, it might fill up the whole screen. So just be careful of that. And then we're going to use our image file as the source for that. Super easy. Now all we have to do is say window.center and window.show. And again, you might want to add a check to make sure you have a composition selected. So I'm going to select my composition. And when I run this, it's going to create a script called image loader and use whatever sized image you selected and load that into the interface. Likewise, I could add another image into my composition here. This one is quite large and might be a problem, but I can load basically image on any image I need to. And in this case, yeah, it's definitely too big. And again, you can go the extra mile and maybe add like a drop down to select a custom image from your actual project. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice a week on the channel. And down in the description, you can download the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there as I post code in there way earlier than the videos themselves. Also in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates.
If you're not a member of our Discord server, you can join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us and join the YouTube community as a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link for that is in the description. You can get cool perks like badges, shoutouts and videos, Discord member status, and much more. Thanks again for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.